Welcome to Pro Tools Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. Welcome back to this free video tutorial series in which we mix live multi-track drums using Waves plugins in Pro Tools. In this second episode, we're going to be continuing our drum mixing using Dynamics processors and some character EQs. In the first video, we did a little bit of corrective EQ, making the kick drum sound a little bit more focused, getting a ring out of the snare drum and some gating on the toms. Now it's time to dig a little deeper. And uh, yes, we're going to throw some dynamic processes at this, starting with the kick. Sounds nice, but with the overheads and the snare, it just, to me, doesn't sound exciting enough. So let's see if we can bring out the transient a little bit more. And I'm going to use this, the Waves Trans Wide plugin. And I'm just going to keep this really simple. I'm just going to play around with the range just to make that kick sort of sound a little bit more snappier. Nice plug in this. If you wanted to soften the sound of your kick, you'd just bring the range down into the negatives. But up here, just sounds, just to my ears, more exciting. You know what, let's try this on the snare drum as well, the snare top close mic. Yeah, that's nice, works for me. Now, uh, I think it's time to put a little bit of compression on the kick and snare, and brilliant plugin for this is the CLA 76. We've got two models in here. We've got the black and the bluey. Now, to my ears, there's not a lot of differences between the two. I've always gone for the black. Can't really tell you why, but the, uh, the overall compression sounds of this really do work quite nicely on kick and snare. Now we've got input and output. We all know how to use an 1176. Don't forget that the attack and release controls on these are the other way around. For instance, if you've got the attack all the way down here, we've got the slowest attack time. And over to the far right, we've got the fastest attack time. Same for release as well. So slowest, quickest. We've got ratios down the side here as well. Going to start with everything up the middle and I'm going to use my control surface to uh, cheat here a little bit. So when you dial in the input, uh, you should be dialing down the output so you can hear what's going on. It's difficult to do this with a mouse. Waves do let us link controls if you click shift, click like this. But unfortunately, it means they both move in the same direction, which isn't uh, the best way to use an 1176 at all. Let's take that out of link and uh, let's have a little go. That's, to my ears, the right amount of squish, but let's see if we can get that attack and release time just right. Now, I like to start with a very quick attack, so it's really squishing things very quickly, because then you can slow it up and then you'll start to hear that transient come through more. I don't really like starting with a slow attack, because I find it tricky to then hear when I've gone too far, but if you go from quick to slow, you can kind of hear the, the sounds or at least the beginning, the transient, come through the speakers a bit more. So let's do that. Let's go for a quick release. Nice. Let's do a similar thing on the snare drum. Let's 
to a little before and after of just the CLA 76 plugins. Excellent, they work really well. Now, I've got another track here. I've got a room track that I haven't really used yet. And I reckon we can use this with the 1176. And I'm not going to go crazy. Well, I might do a little bit. As you can see, I've got a high ratio here set. And what I'm going to do is over compress this and then use it as a way of getting a little bit more ambience and energy out of the performance. So I'm just going to keep this in solo for the minute. Just going to drive it. Before. And then I'm going to blend this in on the fader here in the mixer. Let's just mute that track. there a little bit let's bring it down yes that's sounding a lot better to my ears okay now it's time for a little bit of eq to add some color and i'm gonna do this on the drum overheads they just sound a little bit dull and uh yeah let's inject some excitement into this and i'm gonna use the waves veq4 all i want to do is add a little bit of shine to the top so let's start here around about 5k and increase the gain and it's a shelf as well. Add just a little bit of air. You know what? Just a bit of high pass as well down here. Just to focus it a little bit. You know what, I'm going to use an instance of this as well on the room track that I crushed with the 1176. Just going to low pass this a bit so we can take away some of that top end. We've got that in the overhead track. Just do this in isolation quick. So what I'm really looking for in this is sort of tone and vibe and energy and don't need all that smashy stuff at the top. Much better, much better, more focused. Let's do a quick before and after of those two instances of VEQ on the overheads and the room track. Yeah, it just sounds so top end busy. And that was the rooms. Excellent. Right, in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at getting some ambience into this and some saturation. So hopefully I'll see you in that video. Hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll see you again soon.